A and P up here. Welcome to Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Tech Sergeant Gene Taylor. Things are looking up in Afghanistan's Nangarhar province. That's the analysis by Army Lieutenant Colonel Gregory Allison, commander of the Provincial Reconstruction Team Jalalabad. He briefed President Bush and Afghan President Hamid Karzai by video teleconference on Friday. Nangarhar province has been declared poppy free and experiences little insurgent violence. Afghan farmers in Nangarhar now grow onions, wheat and other food crops. There are also plans in the works to build more hydroelectric dams to generate power to be used to establish food processing factories and create much needed jobs. Nangarhar is a region that borders Pakistan, just east of Afghanistan's capital city of Kabul. Well, there's an old saying that the best defense is a good offense. Marine Sergeant Jeremy Ross shows us how that's especially true when the offense in question has a range of more than three miles. An 81 millimeter mortar system doesn't just require a team to operate it. A group effort at digging is needed before it can even be test fired. This may seem like a lot of work for just one weapon system, but there's a reason one of these guns was recently installed at Forward Operating Base De La Ronde. Its operators are confident that should Marines find themselves in trouble in the vicinity, all this work will be worth the effort. When we have patrols out, we can actually, if they need call for fire or anything, they can actually call and we can shoot HE, suppress the enemy if you know they're in a tight spot. We can, if it's nighttime, we shoot a loom screen movements with smoke, we can suppress the enemy and help anybody get out of any tight situations. Delaram has been a relatively stable area during the Marines deployment, so no one's holding their breath for fire missions. In the meantime, there's something else in store for these mortar men. Practice, at least a couple of hours every day. Waiting for missions, just constantly doing gun drills, just manipulating the gun, getting quicker and faster and more proficient at working with the gun. Oh, of course it gets old, but once you're perfect, you're never going to get there. All these elements together mean friendly forces are a little bit safer, as long as they're within the 5,600 meter range of this pocket artillery. Marine Sergeant Jeremy Ross, Delaram, Afghanistan. For over 67 years, the USO has been a bridge between the American people and their armed forces. Airman First Class Gina Mulder shows us how the USO is supporting the troops in Afghanistan, honky tonk style. Welcome for Mr. Trey. Country music star Trace Adkins toured Bagram Airfield Saturday, playing his brand of country fried music for the troops. From patriotic favorites like Arlington, to the crowd favorite Ladies Love Country Boys, the audience got their chance to shake their honky-tonk badonkadonks. It's great to know that we're supported by anybody back home, and he brings warm welcomes and he gave a thanks from everybody that he's ever given concerts for. Hundreds of people attended the concert at Bagram's MWR Clamshell, and many of them got to take pictures with and get autographs from the singer after the show. It's one thing I was wanting to get done tonight, having him autograph my guitar, because he's a great singer, and I love what he does for the troops over here. Mr. Adkins says he enjoys playing for the troops because it's a way to give a little something back to those who protect the American way of life. Uh, you know, the best part of, of playing for the troops, uh, just an immense sense of pride that, you, that that's instilled in you when you stand in front of these folks and just, uh, uh, they're, they're just wonderful people. And, uh, and I'm proud of them. Everybody's proud of them. I just try to get up there and tell them that. You're, you're changing the course of history, you know. That we appreciate them and we're proud of them and just to say thanks. Airman First Class Gina Mulder, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. That's it for this edition of Freedom Watch Afghanistan. To watch stories from today's and previous editions of our show, log on to the web. Just point your browser at pentagonchannel.mil. I'm Tech Sergeant Gene Taylor. From all of us here at Bagram Airfield, thanks for watching and have a great day. <laughs>